What's up, Coaster Community? Millennium First Man back in our video. Today's video, uh, we're going to be looking at some uh, good news uh, coming out of some parks right now. And the first thing we're going to look at is uh, the long awaited Vekoma firestorms. Uh, you know, those that have taken, uh, taken forever. Uh, finally, one of them is testing uh, the one at uh, Vine Pearl Land in Vietnam. There's another one going to uh, World Fairy Tale Land. I believe that's a park in China. That one's under construction too. I don't know if it's tested. That's at the same park with the uh, free spin, like the 10 element free spin or whatever that is. But that one I've heard uh, has been delayed forever. Like it's just not happening. Like the construction isn't happening uh, as they would like it to. Uh, but we do have this one uh, coming too. So uh, we have the uh, a testing POV from uh, the coma. So anyways, uh, let's get started. Let's see uh, the POV. So. Yeah, so it's, uh, these are launch coasters. The launch looks pretty good, honestly. And then you got a top hat. It really struggles to get over this at the end, like right there. Uh, probably some airtime in the back row. Uh, that's probably very intense right there. Yeah, that uh, corkscrew, whatever, has a lot of hang time. Same for this vertical loop. It's probably like it's more hang time versus positives. This transition might be forceful, like a uh, whip. Like this whole ride looks like it has a bunch of positives too. Uh, that is like the best airtime moment on the ride, I'd say. It's ejector in the back. Uh, that corkscrew's uh, pretty whippy. You got these like overbank turns slash helixes over here. Uh, yeah, these look like they provide a lot of positives. You got this weird like wave turn thing. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to think about that. Some more positives there. And then this other weird turn. And some more positives. And then it's over. So it's actually a pretty long ride. It's like a minute. Uh, and it's a launch coaster, so like it's a minute long ride. That's actually pretty uh, long. So yeah, it's a long ride, but I don't really know what to think about it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of slow in the first half. Um, like it kind of like crawls over the top hat. Like obviously the physical speed is like fast. You're going like 71.5 miles an hour, I believe. The coaster is like 164 feet. But then the second half, uh, the pacing like progressively keeps getting better. You start to fly through some elements. I never felt like the pacing was as fast as like Let Coaster. I think that's like Let Coaster is the only Vacoma that we've really gotten, or like the only taste of like new Vacoma. And we're kind of like uh, setting our expectations too high because of that. Like, uh, I don't know if uh, that Celestial Gauntlet thing. Yeah, that looks like at a pretty good pacing, but uh, this really doesn't. Like, the pacing uh, just isn't as good and doesn't seem to fly through the elements as fast as those uh, those two coasters. Uh, it still has some pr pretty pretty fast moments, but I felt like uh, there was some moments where it kind of crawled through. Uh, like I said, the launch could be powerful. Like, it looks like it has an initial boost and then just kind of just gliding on a straight track. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's an awesome launch, so you got to consider that. Like, it's... Naturally cannot be as uh, fast of an acceleration as like a hydraulic or compressed air But we have seen some powerful awesome launches like Gerslauer um, And other manufacturers Intamin kind of sometimes uh, And the, the Vacomas uh, These could have a powerful uh, powerful launches uh, But like we really don't know what to expect at all uh, Hang time? Yeah, I saw some hang time moments there uh, There's four inversions. I think there's four or three. I don't know I didn't even count, huh? but there's, I, yeah, the, the first two in the beginning, like that really drawn out corkscrew in that vertical loop, yeah, those are going to have some good hang time. Unfortunately, I think this is going to have the vest, similar like Let Coaster and all the other new Vacomas, so uh, that might kill the hang time a little bit, but these vests are personally not that bad. I've ridden similar ones, uh, like I've ridden because they're similar ones uh, on uh, Riddler Revenge and Sidewinder, and those did not bother me at all. Like, when you got an airtime moment or when you're like leaning forwards or something like that they like adjust to you so they're not going to like stop you like the bnm vests from going anywhere so they will move with the airtime and hang time so i think that will be pretty good i don't really see that much airtime there's that one good pop the top hat might be good there was like those like weird wave turn uh, off axis hills those might be okay other than that really didn't see anything uh, but I don't think that these Vacomas are known for their airtime. Like, who goes off Let Coaster and says, yeah, that's one of the best, uh, most airtime, uh, powerful coasters in the world. Or that coaster has, like, the craziest airtime ever. No, no one does that. Um, I think it was, like, the whip 
and the pacing for sure and like the positives and that's why Leck and all these other Vacomas are good and uh, same kind of thing with this yeah whip really questionable like Leck coaster like I said before flies through its layout uh, this one uh, that last uh, corkscrew that is some pretty powerful whip there's that one transition very similar to Leck coaster kind of like that I threw five snap but like you know like the uh, Leck coaster has it as well yeah, that might provide some whip, too, uh, when you're going, like, side to side. Uh, there's some moments that are very similar to Let Coaster. However, it just doesn't go through them as fast. So, uh, that's really questionable. Uh, crazy positives, though. There's, like, a bunch of overmakes and really low-to-ground uh, turns that they just look really tight. And I've heard that Let Coaster is, like, a guaranteed gray out. And this one, uh, the turns do match a Let Coaster. Like, the turns are taken at the same kind of speeds or even faster. Uh, so yeah, I definitely expect a lot of positives, uh, and the transitions are really weird, especially towards the end of the ride. Like, uh, don't, those just don't they don't look right. Like, they're not like all like jank, like togos or uh, arrows, but like they're gonna flow well, but they just look interesting. Like, we don't really see that much of, of that, uh, unless like on the RMCs. But it just looks even stranger. Like when you're just banked sideways and you're just like, yeah, it just looks really awkward to me. I don't know, that's, that's just what I uh, noticed. So, yeah, I'm finally glad that this coaster uh, is coming. I don't really know if it's what we thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like, a really fast pace and, like, uh, whipping around, like, like, coaster. However, I did say that the first half might not be like that, and that's kind of what it is. It's a little bit lower than I expected, but, like, the overall feel of it uh, is pretty much kind of what I expected. So, I'd say it probably meets my expectations for it. So, yeah, that's the Vacoma Firestorm, guys. Really hope uh, this one of these that like, comes to America or, or like, one of these, uh, any of these Vacomas come to America. And I really hope some of the other ones, we can see them, too. Like, the Shockwaves, the Top Guns. I really hope they start opening up and we can see their testing as well. And ride them one day eventually because that would be cool. But anyways, we got more news and updates. So, Parks reopening. Um, yeah, I... Always had a feeling that parks are going to reopen this year. Uh, some people were uh, didn't really think that at all. Like, I don't know why, uh, but it's not that bad. Some people are just freaking out about the thing <laughs> that I'm not going to mention. But, yeah. Uh, Six Flags is aiming towards June. And I would believe that the other parks are trying to, um, like, open at the same time. Uh, Bush Gardens Tampa, they've started testing some rides. Uh, you know, uh, Iron Gwazi was had, like, riders on it, like, uh, park officials and uh, probably RMC crew and stuff like that. Yeah, so people have ridden Iron Gwazi, so it's ready to go, I think. Maybe just a little bit more testing, obviously, like, media and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's ready to go. You know, like, Texas Stingray, that was only, that wasn't even open for a month. So I'm pretty sure, like, the sea world change just in general, because every single park besides Sesame Place is getting a coaster. I think that they're going to want to, re like, reopen. So... Yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And, like, if Six Flags opens, they're going to be making money. Uh, why would the other parks not want to be making money as well? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. I Like, Cedar Fair might be a little bit more cautious to open up. But I think they will by at least, like, July. And, you know, like, the entire country is trying to open up again. Uh, you know, there's parts of the world that are already, like, pretty much back to normal. So, yeah, it's not in the, the so far distant future for uh, us. So, I can definitely see that uh, happening uh, Cliffs, I think, that, uh, Park, Cliffs Park, uh, I think they're actually trying to open up in May, like, that's how quick some things are happening, like, like, some states are almost back to normal now, so, but I do think that, uh, they might, like, take some precautions, uh, maybe, like, there might be a max limit, uh, in, of, like, people in the park, and stuff like that, uh, definitely, like, a lot of, um, sanitation things, they're probably gonna have, like, uh, what Six Flags did at the beginning of this when they were still open. Uh, probably going to have, like, just hand sanitizer everywhere and all those, like, cleaning stations. They might wipe down the trains. I heard that, like, SeaWorld or something did that before. So, yeah, they might uh, do that. Not, maybe not every cycle, but maybe, like, every, like, 30 minutes or something. I don't know. I don't think they'll do it every cycle. Like, the parks want, do want to have better uh, operations than that. But uh, eventually, it's not going to happen that long. I think people are just going to, like, want to resume back to normal. And it really won't be a problem for that uh, long. So yeah, I'm predicting parks are going to be open by June or July. So uh, how, how am I affected by this? What are my current plans? Uh, they're still the same. Haven't canceled anything. I'm really not looking to cancel anything because 
um, all my trips are not like in the year uh, for like Virginia unofficial Virginia trip I had was in like late June so that might uh, not happen I could always kind of like reschedule that I don't really know my other trips didn't really have a planned time but they could kind of happen like anytime really so yeah the only one I'm really skeptical about is uh, Canada's Wonderland just because uh, it's across the border uh, and they might not like reopen the border so yeah that one might not happen but the park's really not that far it's only three and a half hours so it could happen any year just the pro uh, the reason we haven't been there before is obviously because it's not in the same country so yeah and i won't be able to go to darien lake obviously it's supposed to open like uh, may 1st i believe that was when it's supposed to open obviously that's not going to happen but uh, most of you guys would probably be like oh well he's not he doesn't even care because home park is six flags darien lake and it's like the worst park uh no i still care guys like I, they have great coasters and any park i just want to be riding any coaster i honestly don't care if it's like a kitty coaster or whatever uh, i just want to be riding coasters so yeah i am mad that uh they're not open but um i'm just obviously not as mad as like some of the bigger parks like but i'll probably be able to go back there uh like a june or whatever so i'm really only getting a month cut off uh, it's not really that bad but yeah i'm not really planning to cancel any of my trips and there's always like so many places we could like uh, go like there's so many parks in like pennsylvania like all like the little parks and stuff that i haven't been to uh and i could revisit like king's island cedar point for steel vengeance although i'm kind of waiting for 2021 uh for that but i could always like revisit king's island and never really only really got rode half the coasters there so yeah that could always rehab and there's just like a lot of parks in the area that i could eventually like like that could just hit up this year if some of my stuff got canceled so yeah that's my plans really I'm not affected that much right now so uh the 2020 affected openings um well like construction is getting uh it's stopped for most things i think epic universe is actually still going i don't really know why they're doing why they're allowed to do that or why they are but um i think most coasters are gonna open that we're supposed to open in 2020 will um jersey devil even though that was kind of like not it, it never really finished construction yet I think that's still going to open like August, uh, late August maybe, or like somewhere during August. I think it's really not that hard to construct a Raptor coaster. Like that doesn't take that long to physically build them. And the other coasters like Orion, Iron Gwazi, uh, they are already tested, so they're it's not going to take that long for those to open. Six Flags did uh, delay or cancel some stuff. I don't really know what they did. Sidewinder Safari, uh, V Pair, among like a bunch of other flat rides and water rides are getting like delayed or canceled i don't really know we don't really know the exact future of those yet um cedar fair really o only opening orion really actually nothing else uh, some they're like whatever they're doing the parades or like whatever i don't even know like their shows or whatever was happening to the other parks that was just completely screwed up those might not happen but like who really cares honestly and sea world um you know like like i said uh iron guazi was um testing texas stingray open so that will definitely be open icebreaker really won't take that long to build pantheon uh, looks i think that did finish track construction actually so that won't take that long as well um and emperor was testing uh, as well so yeah that won't be a problem hershey park with candemonium track construction was complete uh, i don't really know how they uh, went on after that but it has not tested yet so I think that will be uh, fine as well. As for the stuff out of this country, I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> I really don't know at all. So I don't think anything's getting delayed outside of the country or canceled that I know of, like off the top of my head. So yeah, for that, um, it's good. But I think that most of the stuff, like the big stuff that's going to happen this year is going to still happen this year. And uh, we can always celebrate that VPair is delayed, guys. You do not have to die until 2021, uh, and they they moved it out of the country, but uh, they do have track actually there. Um, even though they moved it out of the country, they did move it a lot closer to me. So yeah, but you know, it's still a credit. I'm not really mad about riding it. It's not going to be that bad. Like some people put out to be like horrible, uh, but the track is actually at Laurent. So yeah, they could. Yeah, I, I they haven't. I don't think they've uh, hit vertical construction. 
But yeah, I think that's going to be delayed just because they haven't hit vertical construction. So yeah, I'm not really exactly sure. I just, I've heard it's being delayed. So yeah, that's always good news. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really know how bad Green Lantern was in the first place. So, uh, and me personally am happy that Orion is delayed just because I hate Orion. I, I kind of went off on Orion a bit. Like it's not as bad as I put it out to be, but I still just personally am not a fan of it. So I do think it's the worst Giga, but I kind of went a little bit too hard on it. It's really not that bad, but it's getting delayed. So, <laughs> and I'm happy. Uh, Rise of the Resistance is closed, and you'd be like, wait, what? It's going to be closed forever? No. Um, I'm just happy because some people are, like, uh, saying this is better than any coaster, and that's just absolutely beyond me. Like, how is this better than, like, uh, Milly or Steel Vengeance or anything? I-305, El Toro, Voyage, you name it. Like, how is this better than them? It has no forces at all. I don't care how good the theming is. Uh, we're coaster enthusiasts. We like coasters. We like the experience of coasters, you know, all the forces, all that stuff. Uh, and for me personally, I'd honestly be happier riding like a Vekoma SLC or like a Wacky Worm or something uh, more than this. I mean, those are a credit and this is not a credit. And I'm, I'm a coaster enthusiast, guys, so I like this. And I, the people now, they're just, I think Res Resistance started this. The people now that like think these dark rides are better than coasters, I just, I don't know what to say to you. Like, that's just, uh, that's just a little bit stupid in, in my opinion, but I'm totally entitled to you guys having your own opinions but yeah, it's just really strange. It, like it, out of nowhere, this like whole thing that like Rise of Resistance was like the best possible thing in the world uh, happened. So yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. And future affected openings, um, some stuff is gonna get canceled. Dorney Park, I think, is uh, well since they withdrew their plans, that might not happen. Uh, Drag Inspire BGW 2021, I'm not really sure on that either. Uh, SeaWorld still just likes to add coasters so much, but they're in a bit of a financial problem right now. Uh, so, I don't really know, but they probably will have that still. Uh, originally, I think that was actually supposed to be Pantheon. Um, like, I think it was like, supposed to go across the river or something, but then, like, they couldn't do that. So, I don't know. I have no clue on that. Uh, King's Dominion, that's probably not going to happen. Really wasn't sure on that in the first place, because, you know, it's supposed to be a wing, then a 40. And it just looks too small, and I just think they're just going to cancel it because it's just really small. They're going to wait for something bigger. The only thing in the Cedar Fair chain that I see happening is, like, Cedar Point 2021. And I just think that's going to be, like, a, a flyer that, like, barely takes the records or, like, something. I'm not even sure about that either. I'm not even sure if Cedar Fair is going to do anything next year. Even though they haven't really... They've gotten hit hard, but, like, not as hard as, like, Six Flags and SeaWorld. As for Six Flags, Magic Mountains is probably going to happen just because they're so desperate for that. And other than that, I don't really see any other new coasters uh, coming out of them other than the like, stuff that's getting delayed. So, yeah, they might like not add a coaster ride for every park. Or not a coaster for every park. They would never do that. They might not add a new addition for every, any, uh, every park um, because they might have to cut costs. Uh, down uh, in like Europe and Asia and stuff like that, I don't know. Um... Park Asterix 2022, just because they got pushed back already, I think that's still going to happen, and uh, same thing for the Walby Belgium 2021, as well as uh, the other park I'm not even going to try to pronounce in uh, Belgium, uh, with the Ma Max Spinner, Extreme Spinner, uh, the project that was called Time Traveler, I guess, uh, that might still happen. Other than that, I don't really know, I don't think anything is really going to be pushed back there, because they don't have major chains really they do but like i just don't really know uh, in that area of the world so i'm not gonna go any farther for that but i don't think stuff will be affected that much really um just some stuff for like the major chains trying to cut costs but other than that uh, probably gonna be seeing around uh normal s stuff so anyways that's it for the video thanks for watching uh, comment down below what do you think about that uh, new Vacoma Firestorm, and uh, what you think about the parks uh, and how, how it's going to play out for them. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.